Hi, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another book miss video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, we are here to quickly run through my entire physical TBR. Now, before we jump in, I think I should set expectations. This is not one of those videos where we are going to be going through hundreds and hundreds of unread books. In fact, my physical TBR has gotten to be quite manageable over the years, and that is because I've been making a conscious effort to keep it manageable. Just to give you a quick bit of context, when I discovered the online bookish community back in 2017 and I discovered BookTube and places like Book Outlet, my TBR exploded. But at that time, I had not really honed my reading tastes, and so I was just picking up absolutely everything that sounded interesting. And then the longer those books sat on my shelves and the more that I developed myself as a reader, the more that I lost interest in those books. So over a couple of years, I ended up unhauling quite a few of those books without reading them just because I lost interest in them. And as you all know, my reading tastes have changed quite significantly over the past year or two and that I've really moved away from YA. I'm reading almost no YA at all. So almost every unread YA book on my shelf was unhauled as well. So my physical TBR looks drastically different today than it did in 2020. I've also been making a very conscious effort to be extremely mindful of the books that I'm purchasing. And with the exception of my subscription boxes or the books that are gifted to me, I'm really trying to only buy books that I've already listened to and have made the decision that I want on my shelves because I want to make sure that my physical TBR is manageable and I want to make sure that I remain extremely excited about all of the books that I want to read. And in all honesty, I just don't think that's possible with a huge TBR. Having a huge physical TBR wasn't overwhelming because I kept thinking, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to read all of these books? It was overwhelming because I knew I was eventually going to lose interest in a solid percentage of those books. And I didn't want that to happen. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. So I really spent a lot of time, particularly this year, but last year as well, really curating my reading tastes, curating my library and curating my physical TBR as well as my virtual TBR. I went through and unhauled a lot of books that were only on my virtual TBR that I didn't physically own because I knew that I was losing interest and I wasn't excited about them anymore. And so I'm going to try to continue that trend in 2023. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video, even though I know that it's going to be super quick and there are not hundreds and hundreds of books on my physical TBR, is because I want to get a solid count of how many books are on my physical TBR. And I want to see if I can actually pare that down further. So my physical TBR is right here. It is on this half Billy bookcase from Ikea. That is it. This is all the TBR books that I own. And I'm really trying to contain it to this case. So if I have TBR books that don't fit on this bookcase, I have too many and I need to work on controlling that. But in reality, I don't want this bookcase to be even close to full. There are seven shelves on this bookcase and I maybe want three or four of them to be full of physical TBR books. I want the rest to be open for the red books that I have decided to keep because I am currently running out of space. My bookcases are almost entirely full and it's going to get to a point where I don't have room to house all the books that I want to keep. So by limiting my physical TBR, I would be able to help that somewhat, not a lot, but somewhat. And so that's a goal of mine as I'm still focusing on backlist titles, as I'm being mindful of what I'm bringing into my home, I want to try to get this physical TBR, maybe not quite quite in half, but close to it. I want to clear up around three to four shelves on this physical TBR bookcase. And so we're going to get a solid idea of how many books are actually on this bookcase. And I'm going to use that number going into 2024. So without further ado, let's go ahead and quickly run through my physical TBR. I will not be going into any kind of synopsis about the book. I will just be holding up the book, saying the title and the author name. So the first two that I have that I'm going to talk to you about really quickly, these are not traditional books that you really just sit down and read. These are just kind of books that you read at your own leisure. So I have Hamilton the Revolution. This is all about the Hamilton Broadway musical and Lin-Manuel Miranda's process for writing it and stuff. So I picked this up when I was in New York and I'm very happy to have it, but I haven't actually got around to reading it. And so hopefully I can do that in 2024. And then I have Tiny But Mighty. It says Kitten Lady's Guide to Saving the Most Vulnerable Felines. She is a social media influencer whose entire life is basically dedicated to animal rescue, primarily kittens. And is that something that I want to dedicate my life to as well? I thought that this would be a good resource to have. So I don't ever know if I'm going to sit down and physically read the entire thing front to back. I may only read like the sections that are necessary to me at any given moment, but I'm very, very glad to have this one. All right, now we can go ahead and get into the rest of the TBR. Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kemmerer. Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. This is the Fairy Loot Special Edition. And I also purchased the Illumicrate Special Edition separately. I did not know it was going to be coming in Fairy Loot, but in all honesty, I actually prefer this edition. So depending on how I feel about the book, I might not actually keep both editions. 
else, but I do have both editions, so I wanted to share them with you here. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzan, A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, Kingdom of Ash also by Sarah J. Mass, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco, The Wife by Ella Fair Burke, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. This is the Seasons Edition. I also have the Seasons Edition of Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Falling by T.J. Newman, The Diamond Eye by Kate Quinn, When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean, A Quiet Life by Ethan Joella, Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell, The Therapist by B.A. Paris, Blacktop Wasteland by S.A. Cosby, A Ghost of Caribou by Alice Henderson, It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell, Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. This is on my December TBR, so hopefully it will not remain on my physical TBR for much longer. The Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenoff, The Stolen Marriage by Diane Chamberlain, The Plot by John Honf Korlitz, Girls Like Us by Christina Alger, The Nature of Fragile Things by Susan Meisner, X and Y Both by Sue Grafton, The Exiles by Jane Harper, The Invisible Husband of Frick Island by Colleen Oakley, The Handmaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden, The Last Thing to Burn by Will Dean, The Frozen River by Ariel Lahan, No One Can Know by Kay Alice Marshall, A Winter in New York by Josie Silver, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, We Keep the Dead Close by Becky Cooper, Who is Maud Dixon by Alexandria Andrews, America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoy, Crazy Stupid Bromance and Isn't It Romantic, the last two books I need to read the Bromance Book Club series, both by Alyssa K. Adams. And then next, I'm going to once again hold up this mystery stack of nine books that I plan to read for a themed reading vlog that I never got around to and hopefully maybe possibly we'll get around to it in 2024. I haven't decided whether it's going to be one reading vlog with all of these, whether it's going to be all of these broken up into two vlogs with the same theme or whether I'm going to try to do two different themed reading vlogs. I have no idea. Here are those same nine mysterious books. The Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez, Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover, A Tiny Little Novella, If You Tell by Greg Olson, The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley, Homefront by Kristen Hanna, The Quarry Girls by Jess Lurie, Most of All You by Mia Sheridan, Confess by Colleen Hoover, Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher, My Darkest Prayer by S.A. Cosby, and then the very last one I have, The Chiltern Edition of Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. All right, y'all, that is it. That's my entire physical TBR. Editing Brittany is going to do a count of all of these books and she will post it up on the screen for you so we know exactly where we are starting in 2024. Please comment down below and let me know if you have an idea of roughly how many books are on your physical TBR. Let me know if it stresses you out to have a big physical TBR. If you like having a big physical TBR, like if it's a comfort to you, I would really love to know. Or if you've made it to the end of this video and you are not feeling chatty, go ahead and leave me an emoji with something that we find on the cover of Demon Copperhead. Look, we have a football, we have a spider, we have some mushrooms, we have a blackbird, we have some flowers, we have a skeleton. We have all kinds of things going on on this beautiful cover. I just love this beautiful cover so much. And like I said, this is on my December TBR, so I may be reading it soon and it may no longer be on my physical TBR much longer. So go ahead and leave me an emoji of something that you see here on this cover. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'm participating in Bookmas Meaning from December 1st through December 25th. You should see one video upload from me a day leading up until Christmas. So if you want to see what content I have in store, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on anything. Y'all know that I love connecting with you in all my videos or on any of my social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below along with the books that I may talk about in a video, except for this one. But until next time, y'all.